hey y'all it's Cass. welcome to my channel if you are new welcome back if you guys are og here we talk all about diy content creation and today we have an at home photo shoot so instead of home studio setup ideas etc we're gonna just use spots you probably already have set up at home like your in your bedroom in your bathroom and maybe in future videos if you guys like this we can check out kitchen living room dining room just different areas around the house that are already set up that you can do pretty cool and fun shoots in but we're gonna start in the bed let's get it <laughs> For the first shoot, I had my two LED panels both set up at 100% 3900 Kelvin. I had them on either side of me, just pretty much lighting up the whole scene. I'm shooting with my Canon 70D 10 to 18mm mm lens, just kind of playing around with the different millimeters. And then yeah, just doing some fun little cozy poses, trying to look like I'm brainstorming, visioning for the new year, etc. Enjoy. For the second shoot, I kind of wanted to more go with like self-care, New Year's theme. Um, so for this one, again, I'm using my two LED panels. One is actually lighting the background, so I'm pointing it at the shower curtain, while the other one I'm trying to light myself through the actual mirror. I have the overhead lights off for this shoot, and then again, I'm just shooting with my 70D 10 to 18mm, just kind of playing around with fun, self-motivating poses was the goal. <laughs> For the final shoot, again, I want to just go with like the tub. This is actually supposed to be happening backwards. It's supposed to be coming out the shower, chilling at the sink, and then end up in bed. But whatever, you guys get the idea. Don't worry, mom. I'm wearing a swimsuit. But anyways, um, this one, I just want to play around with bubbles and reading. And again, the whole self-care theme, just lighting up with my two LED lights. I pumped up the ISO a little bit, which kind of gave this really neat, cool effect um, to the background. And let's go to edit. So of course I'm editing in Lightroom, I already have three of my photos selected and I move into develop mode. I always put on the SP5 filter first and then modify from there. Um, for the first photo I decided to open up the exposure a little bit, I immediately wanted to open up the shadows on my face. I always turn down texture clarity, in some cases I'll turn down the dehaze and then I'm pumping up the saturation to add a bit more color to my skin. These photos I didn't really have to do much for, um, I'm syncing that edit to all the other photos by selecting them all and then selecting sync and then I'm just kind of tweaking them a little bit more this photo I wanted to be a bit warmer in temperature I turned down the clarity a bit more and then just popping around the exposure a little bit and then that last photo was a little too bright so I'm turning down that exposure I'm turning I'm adding back in the shadows for that because there weren't too many shadows on my face and then adding in a little bit of dehaze and that's how I edited it Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you to go ahead, shoot with what you already got, with what you already add, or even just maybe even do a little room decoration. I have plenty of room makeover videos on this channel as well from my previous lifestyle theme. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have an excellent day, year, life. It's 2022 live it up to the fullest um but anyways subscribe if you guys enjoy or thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video to support my channel subscribe to join the work that fam and see more videos like this and turn on notification bells to be the first to know when i post a new video join the clue join the clue